Cole was going through a very different time at that particular time. It was, was kind of like just some free ball. It's like in the moment stuff that Cole was doing because even me and when I met Cole the first time it was like nerve wracking. You know, you have a uh, cover shoes, like you kind of think, okay, let's put something together where we have like some perimeters or something like that, you know, but he's just like, yo, let me know you find something. Kind of like, you know, I'm like, what you mean? Let me know you find. It's the first time working with you. I don't even know. You need to give me some direction or something. You know what I mean? Like, nope. Just like, hey, if you find something you like, let me know. I'll check it out. And then um, it feels right. It feels right. You know, for me, that whole situation was like, you know, it was very, it was very cool because it's like, you know, it's very, very organic. It was just weird, man. It was like the most weirdest week of my life. It's just like, because it wasn't like, you know, it was like, it's so crazy. It's like, you know, all the things that kind of happened. It was like, I, I'm the type of person where I like, I shot a cover for him, but it's kind of like, the most epic photo cover you can kind of shoot for somebody because like you didn't change the stuff and it's like it's kind of like a reflecting time of like what I was going through and then the stuff that was happening it would just seem like it was very organic you know what gear were you shooting on at that time I don't know I was just trying everything I was shooting on a, um, a 5D Mark II at the time and then I had a bunch of little film cameras just trying things out you know just let's see what this does let's just try things we had a whole week so I was like let me just because he didn't really Give you no directions. I might be shooting like a thousand photos a day of documentary style stuff, you know, and then also just if I see something that match, show it to him for a cover, you know, and like there was images that we shot probably the second night that we were never, well, a lot of images will never see the light of day, but we shot it at like this like car wash spot in Fedville. And it was like, we shot it. He like, I love this fucking image. It was like some silhouette of his hair and stuff. And then Somehow the, the the memory card just didn't work for some reason. It just we lost all no. of it. <laughs> and he really wanted an image, and it was just like, oh, uh, damn. I don't know. And the memory card didn't mess up any other time, but that one time. And then it's so weird. And then the final image that the people world see is like, you know, it's like even that whole process was weird because he was just randomly in a random neighborhood, and this kid was randomly there. They didn't know who he was, and I just saw the kid and shot it. And then I had to pitch it to you know his manager and Eve and and Scott in the back of a, of a tour bus, you know. First time pitching, you know, J. Cole, hey, I think this might look cool for an album cover, you know what I mean? Like, you've, you know, I never seen y'all do a black and white cover, you know, so it's just like nerve wracking. And then it's, I didn't think it was going to happen, but, you know, later down the road, his creative director found the same image. So it's just like, it's kind of wow. weird. The image still kind of stayed there, even though another image was what he wanted would be what he wanted, but just disappeared. You know yeah, I mean? you shoot this photo. It's like a, it's like a random kid, Cole, right? Were you going out there with the intention of like, let's find album artwork? Or was it just like, yo, this is fucking fire. This should be album artwork. Cole, Cole was making music videos along while he was there. But a lot of it was just like, it was so in the moment. I didn't really know how to like figure out what For Your Eyes only was through light conversations with him and light conversations with Scott. They were shooting music videos in the environments we were shooting photos in. So I was listening to the music, trying to figure out direction. All this stuff is like really emotional, you know what I mean? So for me, it was just like such a cool experience. I think it was more experience with what it was. I didn't know what they're going to pick, actual cover or nothing like that. So I don't know. I, I, for me, at first, it was never about like, it still ain't to this day. It's about being a celebrity or thing like that. It was more about just like, I love my art. I love what I do. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.